Okay, try this one on your own using completing the square. Okay, we have x squared minus 6x plus 3 equals 0. Here are the steps right here on the right. Of course, you'd want to internalize these because you wouldn't have these on something like an exam or a quiz. Uh, go ahead and try this out on your own. Pause the video and then we'll work it together. Okay, step one, we want to get the c term. That's this right here to the other side. So x squared minus 6x. Subtracting that 3 from both sides equals negative 3. Okay, now we take our b term, that's this one here. You can include the minus or not, it doesn't matter. I'll leave the minus out this time. Divide by 2, okay, that gives us 3. And then you take that and square it, 9. That's why it doesn't matter if you include the negative or not, because when we squared it, it would go away anyway. 9, all right, that is step 2 and 3. Now step four, add the results to both sides. So add this nine to both sides. Okay, well now this bit here is a perfect square trinomial. So this is gonna be of the form a minus b squared, where this term here is a squared. So the one this nine is b squared, okay? So going down here to rewrite this, that gives us x minus 3 quantity squared on the left equals 6 on the right. Okay, that gets us through step 5, and then step 6, use the square root property to solve. So let's go ahead and take the square root of both sides. I am careful to add the plus or minus. All right, that gives us x minus 3 on the left equals plus or minus rad 6 on the right. Finally, add the 3 to both sides, x equals 3, plus or minus rad 6. Completing the square, note that there's actually two answers. 3 plus rad 6, 3 minus rad 6.